that about does it. Oh, that 350 pound package made me tired. I think after all that lifting and hard work, it's time for a nap. What's up everybody, Barrett here back again with Speca Tech. Welcome to the channel. Today I got a video that I'm super pumped for you guys. Uh, this is the one that I've been waiting for. This is the secret massive subwoofer unboxing and overview. As you can see, uh, I wasn't exaggerating. This thing is monstrous, at least the package uh, was 350 pounds and it's almost as tall as me and bigger than me. So yeah, I'm really excited for this one. So if you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe, tick the little bell icon so you can be notified when my next video drops. And if you do like the content, make sure you hit the like button. I mean, come on, I had to move this thing inside my house. My wifey and my uh, oldest son did help, but a lot of the weight was on me, guys. So I think I deserve a like for this one. All right, guys, I'm far too excited to get into this package. So no more blabbing, let's get into it. So as I did mention before, uh, there was some delays with this. Uh, there was some delays with the parts getting in from other country, so it didn't come in in July like it was originally supposed to. And then there was one more complication as well, uh, which delayed it. But it's finally here, and I'm super excited for this thing, guys. And it is a beast. So for those of you that may have watched the teaser video about this subwoofer, you may remember me saying that if I got a hundred likes on that video that I would tell you guys the embarrassing s secret mantra that myself and John V. So Jonathan Vinograd, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, I just call him John V. Uh, he's one of the mods in my Canadian audio group. He bought one at the same time as me and I'm not going to reveal it right in the beginning of the video guys. So you're going to have to stay tuned. So this may be hard to see, but kind of wrapped up in this cellophane is the power cord. I'll, uh, I'll cut that out later, guys. I'm too anxious to see this thing. All right, let's just cut and rip now. Well, and this is the back of the unit, so I don't even... <laughs> Can't even reveal to you guys the driver just yet. So as you can see, it's got a nice veneer finish with a charcoal stain. A little bit dusty, but it looks nice. And you can probably see the little symbol right here. I don't know if you guys know what that symbol is, but that's telling you the brand of it. So let me get this styrofoam off here and I'll start turning it for you guys. I haven't even seen the driver yet. Can you see it yet? Oh man, that looks nice. Let me just adjust it for you. There it is, guys. That is a monstrous driver. So if you haven't figured it out by now, this is the Funk LFE 24 Ultra. It's the Funk, Funk LFE 24. Funk LFE 24 Ultra. Ultra. Got a nice display here. So that's a 24 inch driver. Oh man monstrous surround on this thing carbon fiber man that looks nice i can't believe this thing 
What a finish on this thing, guys. I'm definitely gonna give you guys some more close-up shots of everything. Just wanted to get the unboxing. Okay, there it is, guys. The Funk LFE 24 Ultra. So I'm gonna make some adjustments here. I'm gonna grab my camera, get some close-up shots, and let's talk about this thing, guys. All right, now that we've unboxed the beautiful LFE 24 Ultra, let's get into the overview. And this thing is impressive. You're gonna wanna hear this. And make sure you stay tuned after the overview because I will be doing a quick, short excursion test that is pretty impressive. All right, so first of all, who is Funk Audio? So for those of you that don't know, Funk Audio is a manufacturer who's been offering handcrafted, beautifully designed audio products for the last 20 years. They're based out of BC, Canada, and offer arguably the best looking, best performing speakers and subwoofers on the market, period. All right, so before we get into specifics of the overview, let's talk price. <laughs> Prepare yourselves, guys. Um, the LFE Ultra Series starts at 9,000 US dollars. For an exact quote, I suggest you contact Nathan Funk at Funk Audio through the website, which I have linked below. Because there is a wide variety of finishes and choices, the price can vary quite a bit. But rest assured, you are getting a unit that is carefully handcrafted and extraordinary in every way. All right, guys, so let's get into the overview, starting with the enclosure. So the cabinet for the LFE 24 Ultra comes in two different sizes. So first of all, they have a 26 inch wide, 35 inch deep and 60 inch tall version, which is the one I have here. Uh, which I consider the narrow version, and then they have a 35 inch wide by 26 inch deep by 60 inch tall uh, version, which I consider the wide version, and they are 290 pounds each. It is constructed from three quarter inch Baltic birch, and the front baffle is actually 2.25 inches uh, to handle that massive driver, and it is very well braced as well. It is available in a wide variety of finishes, as I stated before, but my unit is coated with a knotty walnut veneer with solid wood inserts on all corners, and it's colored with a charcoal dye with a satin top coat finish. I have to say, guys, it really does look amazing. It is not a flashy finish, but it has an elegant yet subtle look. On the bottom of the cabinet, there are short circular feet, and luckily for me, mine is on carpet, so I have been using carpet sliders to help me move it around. The port is something of a special design as well. I'm not smart enough to explain it, so here's how Nathan Funk explains it. And I quote, We have not offered many ported subwoofers over the years because so often a port design must be compromised in some way or another, especially for an ultra low tune design. Either way, we have to make the port too small and live with port noise, or you have to make it too long and limit the upper range of the subwoofer due to pipe resonances. Often the design must balance a bit of both, and as a result, some aspect causes unwanted noise long before maximum output capability is reached. Because the main philosophy behind all our designs is that there not be any detectable levels of any kind of extraneous noise or distortion with real world content right up to within the last couple of decibels of maximum output. We had to push the envelope of what's possible, just like we've had to do with all our subwoofers to meet this standard. What we have designed here takes all the fine details of port function, airflow, resonance, and fine-tuned a massive curved and flared high flowing and low turbulence port to virtually eliminate all the downsides to a port while maximizing efficiency and minimizing compression. It was not easy, but the result is staggering levels of output with extension to 9 hertz while maintaining virtually identical sound quality to a sealed design. It's a win-win." Well, there you have it. It sounds like an awful lot of R&D went into the design of this port to make sure it lives up to Funk Audio's expectations of performance and sound quality. Funk 24 Ultra. Ultra and Omega. The LFE 24 Ultra. All right, moving on from that gorgeous cabinet, let's talk about the 24 inch massive intimidating driver that's hand built at Funk Audio. It is built with sound quality and clarity being top priority. And as stated earlier, it is a gargantuan 24 inch quadruple layer carbon fiber cone with an anodized aluminum dust cap. It has a large five inch aluminum voice coil. Pushing around that massive cone is a high energy nine inch diameter neodymium magnet motor structure. To help reduce distortion is a full length aluminum shorting ring and the surround is a beefy treated foam that allows for a staggering three inch peak to peak excursion. The spider is 10 inch in diameter with under spider venting. It is all assembled with high temperature epoxies and it is all housed in a sturdy cast aluminum frame. And I believe this is one of the nicest looking drivers that I've seen on a subwoofer, period. It just looks straight up badass. Being as big as it is and with that carbon fiber, I mean, damn, it looks good. All right, so that sums up the driver, but I'm sure you can tell already that everything about this subwoofer is thought out carefully and quality is top priority. 
Now, as if that all wasn't impressive enough, let's talk about the beast of an amplifier that's powering this monster, which again is handcrafted at Funk Audio. So the amplifier is mounted near the top of the back of the unit. And as far as power goes, this thing puts out a mind-blowing 4400 watts RMS and 10,400 watts peak, which allows for some staggering output. I have not conducted any measurements myself, but Funk Audio stated this subwoofer should outperform the JTR Captivator 4000 on the low end and be similar in the higher bass frequencies. That, my friends, is no small feat. As we all know, the Captivator 4000 puts out some impressive numbers. So to make sure this amplifier will work in all situations, it does automatically recognize and switch its circuit whether it's being fed 110 volt or 220 volt. So for peak optimal performance, you will want to feed this hungry giant 220 volts. Besides putting out a lot of power, the amplifier does have built-in DSP or digital sound processor. You can access the DSP features either through the Funk Audio software or through the front remote display. The DSP has a lot of functionality and even more functionality through the Funk Audio software. You have options for parametric EQ with five filter types and 10 bands or channels. You can access the high and low pass crossover with 10 slope options. You're able to adjust the delay, adjustable level, adjustable limiting, and has a 30 minute auto off function preset by Funk Audio, but this too can be changed. I haven't had a whole lot of time to play around with all the settings, but I will give more information on this during the review video, so stay tuned for that video. The amplifier has a one-piece aluminum chassis and heatsink with a black anodized finish, and it comes with a 10-foot heavy gauge detachable power cord. The front remote display has a blue LCD screen. There is a menu and exit button, and the dial besides turning left and right for selecting different options also operates as a select button when pressed. There are also three green lights, one yellow and one red light to indicate if the amp is clipping or if all is well. All in all, the amplifier, just like the rest of this masterpiece, does not disappoint. So that concludes the overview of this abnormally awesome unit. And guys, I can't stress enough the fine attention to detail that goes into this funk creation. Everything about it just proclaims high quality and performance, including the way it looks, which is actually a good thing because as big as it is, it does take center stage in my home theater. But as good as it looks, why wouldn't you want it to? LFE 24 Ultra. No. No. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the overview and unboxing of this absolute beast. Uh, stand by, I am going to be doing a bit of an excursion test after this, so make sure you don't leave just yet. Um, but make sure you guys subscribe, tick the bell icons, and be notified about my next videos. And please hit the like button. I mean, come on, look at this thing. It at least deserves a like. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the full review video. I will be doing some room measurements and including it in that video. I may do a more in-depth room video down the road as well. And as promised, guys, I did say that I would uh, give you the embarrassing mantra that my buddy John and I have. When we bought these subwoofers, it was around the same time as Bad Boys for Life. So, of course, we called each other Bass Bros for Life. I know that's embarrassing, but that's not the full embarrassing part. So I developed a bit of a mantra <laughs> for that. And you know how they say... Uh, we ride together, die together with bad boys for life. Well, <laughs> for me and John, it's we base together, money waste together, base bros for life. Okay, <laughs> you can probably see I'm blushing like crazy right now. It's pretty embarrassing, but uh, we thought it would be fun, you know, just because we bought these crazy subwoofers at the same time. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. I'm going to be doing an excursion test right after this, so make sure you don't turn away just yet. And as always, stay techy. I think it's about time we plug this thing in. V24 Ultra. I need to. I need to unplug it. All right, now it's time to see what this thing can do. How about some Edge of Tomorrow?
What's happening? There's an earthquake. It's an earthquake. I better unplug that thing. I better... I better unplug that thing. Oh. Oh, it's just a dream. Oh, it's good. That was scary. It's just a dream. Wait a second. Why is that unplugged? It's unplugged. Just like in the dream. It was a dream. Wasn't it? <laughs>